Hello! In this video, you will learn how to use batch processing in the 3D LUT Creator. Let me remind you that the batch processing function is only available in the Pro version of the program. Batch processing allows you to process a series of photos with one LUT. This can be useful when you shoot goods for an online store or a catalog. In this video, I will use a teapot as an example, which I will repaint in different colors. I load the color palette for the teapot as a reference image. Note that the teapot is almost gray, so if I recolor it on the circle AB grid using the tools for color adjustment, I will get artifacts as the neutral colors are fixed on the circle grid. Therefore, if your image is almost neutral, then it's better to repaint it on a square grid. The color in the highlights turned out to be oversaturated, although on the glare the saturation always decreases. Therefore, I will disable the effect on the highlights and then adjust the grid influence on the image with this slider. Now this LUT can be applied to all images of the teapot from the series. To ensure that this LUT will work with other photos, I will load some of them to the program through the menu or by pressing hotkeys. Alt-right arrow on the keyboard loads the next image from the folder. Alt-left arrow loads the previous one. I don't see any problems with repainting here, so I can move on to the batch processing. This can be done through the menu File Batch Processing. At the top of the batch window, you can select the folder with the files for repainting. You can save the images either to the original folder or to the subfolder, or specify a folder path manually. I select a subfolder and name it. Then you can adjust the name of the images. The name can be left original or you can add your own symbols to it at the beginning or at the end. I will save my files to a subfolder so I will keep the original name. You can choose whether to overwrite files or not when the names match. Because I save to a new folder, I can skip this step. Next, the final file format can be selected. I have JPEG images, so I choose JPEG. I will leave the original size too. The checkbox Processed by the LUT should be enabled. Now I click Run and wait. Processing is complete. Let's open our folder and look at the result. In accordance with the specified color, I repainted 100 photos of the teapot. They are needed to ensure that the buyer on the website has the opportunity to look at the goods from all sides. Now let's choose a different color, for example, this one. On the other photos, I do not see any problems. I start batch processing. I need to change the folder name for new images and click Run. Let's open the folder and check the result. All pictures of the teapot are repainted in the desired color. I will consider one more example of repainting using these glasses. I will also load reference colors. Notice that the large area of the color field is occupied by the color distribution of the object. If I recolor this color using tools for working with the grid, I will have to use them several times. In order not to affect the lightness of the image, I will work with the color tool. I will turn on the effect on the highlight since the frame is bright, and I fix the neutrals to keep the loop on the arches neutral. Let's see the rest of the images. Before, after. The result suits me, so I can run batch processing. Here you need to select the folder with the source of images. Also, I will give a different name to the subfolder. Now I click Run and wait. Please note that 3D LUT Creator does not always overwrite the preview in the browser. In fact, all these images are already repainted in pink, which is easy to verify. That's how the glasses look now. This is it. I hope this video was useful. See you in the new lessons.